Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habati fillah one of the times to have your supplication answered and we are all in need of having our supplications answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the mujibu dua he is the subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the one who answers the prayer and it's not from the saints it's not from the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. It's not from the Prophet Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam. It's not from Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, Ibrahim, or the Malaika. But rather, it is Allah azza wa jal. And this is why the mu'min, the believer, prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't forgive shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Fi kitab al-kareem, Inna Allah la yaghfiru, and yushirika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalik la min yasha. Verily, Allah does not forgive that you commit Shirk uh, associate partners with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the one who dies upon shirk. But back to the dua. Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sahahu Imam al Albani. Rahimahullah ta'ala. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ida nudiya bis salat futihat abwa bis sama wastajibu dua. That when the prayer uh, is called, the call for prayer is made, then the heavens, the, the, the doors uh, or gates of heaven are opened and the dua is answered. Who from amongst, amongst us does not need this dua to be answered? I don't think any of us would say and volunteer themselves and put themselves forward and say they do not need their dua answered but rather we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need to beg him for forgiveness we need to ask for his guidance we need to ask for his cure we need to ask for his uh, his mercy and his favor and his hidayah his guidance to bless us to be on the path of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be on the sunnah to be away from bid'ah to be away from shirk to be away from kufr and to answer our dua in general of the things that we want and the things that we need. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and to accept our supplications. And may Allah bless us to be of those who remember him often and who supplicate to him often. May Allah cure, of, cure us all of our illnesses and our families and guide us and our families and guide the Muslims everywhere and protect the Muslims everywhere. Wherever they be suffering and wherever they're tormented and wherever they're oppressed and in the Muslim minority lands like America, like the UK, like France, like Belgium, like Sweden, like all the other places in China and other places where Muslims are suffering. And may Allah bless and protect our brothers in Burma from the torment of the evil, wicked shayateen from amongst the Budiya who are tormenting them and killing them and slaughtering them, the women and children. May Allah protect them and send angels to protect them and preserve them and save them and provide for them. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.